Hey, welcome to my first ever 3D modeling tutorial on this channel. I used to do a lot of um, laser cutting tutorials. Um, I used to be called Laser Illusions Technology, but I have since gotten rid of my 3D pr uh, with my laser cutter um, due to personal reasons uh, with my kids having to take over um, that spare room that I used to use for my laser cutting. So now I'm focusing more on tutorials on 3D modeling and um, drone building, FPVs, and all that sorts of stuff. I'll try to get some laser cutting tutorials and videos in the future, but for now I don't have a laser cutter, so that will have to hold for now. Um, before we start, I'd like to explain what a 3D model is and what it's used for. 3D modeling is basically a three-dimensional representation of a physical component. Um, for example, this screw right here and all of these um, washers and nuts. Um, these are not the physical components itself in a uh, physical space, but they're just representation of that physical component, but it's in the computer space. So that's what a 3D model is. And it's used for a lot of things, uh, mainly for engineering purposes. And I use it a lot for drone building and for designing my own drones and 3D printing parts and components. Um, there are 3D, there's different 3D modeling softwares out there. There's actually a lot. There's um, Inventor, Fusion 360, EasyCAD, AutoCAD 3D, SketchUp. Um, SolidWorks and so on but all of these programs have one thing in common which is that they require 2d sketching to start each shape and the 2d sketch will be eventually transformed into a 3d uh, shape the biggest difference between the uh, programs is that the number of features available is different the free programs obviously have limited features which in turn will have more constraints on what shapes and parts you can model. The paid programs on the other hand such as SOLIDWORKS or AutoCAD 3D that sort of thing um, it doesn't have as much constraints and pretty much no constraint at all really and it's basically possible to create any models you can think of and on SOLIDWORKS specifically you can even do some uh, testing of the components itself, like stress analysis kind of things. Um, so having said that, I'd like to show you how I use SOLIDWORKS to model uh, physical parts, mainly for 3D printing and for my drone hobby and FPV hobby. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, um, so this is the beginner's tutorial for 3D modeling and I will be using SOLIDWORKS for this tutorial. When you open SOLIDWORKS um, you have three choices on what type of uh, file that you want to make a part, assembly, or drawing. Drawings are um, engineering drawings that you can print out of an assembly or a part. An assembly is made out of multiple parts that are that is put together. Um, so in the beginning you need some parts first to create an assembly so we'll create a part today click on the parts um, click here to make a part and press OK okay once that happens it'll take you to this place here it's called the model space um, to move around and the model space is made out of um, different planes um, it's, you can start you start off with the front top and right plane uh, let's keep that visible for now just to show you so this is your model space and these are the three planes that you start off with and as you can see here these are your axis to move around to um, to pan around you press control you hold it and you press your scroll key on your um, mouse and you can uh, drag the space around but to spin the planes around you can just click and hold your scroll um, 
button on your mouse and you can uh, turn everything around and to be normal to a plane or to a flat surface you just click the flat surface such as this front plane right click on it and click normal to and it'll get um, the camera view will show normal to whatever plane you chose okay first thing we have to do is choose which plane we want to do a 2d sketch on today we're going to be making just a simple cube okay maybe a two inch by two inch cube first of all we have to choose um, either um, which units we're going to use to do that you have to go in the bottom right right here and choose the units that you want to use for this project we're going to go inches right here IPS inches pounds and seconds once you choose that you decide which plane you want to draw your first sketch on we will choose the front plane you right click on there and on here you click sketch it'll automatically go normal to that front plane on top here you have different tabs uh, it'll go to the sketch tab once you create a sketch on the front plane and it'll go to a sketch page which you can exit and enter from here first of all we will need to create a cube for this project so we need a square because a cube is pretty much a bunch of squares stacked up to each other so the length and the width are the same and the height is the same so we have to make a square first so you choose this uh, corner rectangle here and just click one side and click the other side for now it doesn't matter what the shape is because we're going to constrain this um, the shape here uh, we need to constrain it because we need to know the dimensions and we need to make sure that it doesn't move so right now it says it's underdefined because the, the software doesn't know uh, what you mean by this square you know what the shape of it is what the size of it is and all that and what's the how, how you locate it um, in relation to the planes and in relation to your axes and to uh, your uh, main point right here in the middle so what we have to do is we have to put dimensions on this square and we also have to locate it first off we can do the dimensions first as I said we'll make it 2 inch by 2 inch so this from here to here is 2 inch enter 2 enter and then this one is also 2 inches 2 enter okay now that we know it's 2 inch by 2 inch that's okay but the program needs to know where it's located right because right now it's moving around everywhere and it doesn't know where to locate it to in order to do that if we wanted to locate it right here and right in the middle where all the planes intersect what we have to do is we have to create the center line which will help in locating the middle There you go, and then another center line. So now we know that the middle of this square is right here, and we need to locate the middle of this square to the middle of the whole uh, model. To do that, we need to add some relations. So if you click here, and we select the midpoint of this line which is pretty much the center of this square and we also click 
on the middle of this um, the whole model itself uh, we choose these two by uh, pressing control and choosing the two uh, points and on the left side here you can add relations so we want this point and this point to be together so that will be coincident relation there you go now as you can see we can't move this square anymore because it's fully defined and it also says here on the bottom it's fully defined every time you make a sketch you have to make it fully defined um, because you don't want it to move when you're uh, doing uh, other relations in the three-dimensional space okay now that we have that we need to make this three-dimensional to do that we have to extrude it if you go to features here on the top there is choice for extrude boss base revolve boss base sweep swept bo boss base we want to extrude it because revolve is mainly for revolving around an axis and sweep is um, it will follow a path to extrude but this is just a simple extrusion so let's click on extrude now it'll tell you which way you want to extrude this way the other way or if you want it mid plane which means that it'll extrude equal amounts this side and that side or you could also do two directions so right now this is direction one which will extrude this way um, if we want direction 2 it'll also extrude the opposite way um, and you can give the dimension right here and right here but we don't want that we want this sketch to be right in the middle of our um, cube so what we want to do is choose mid plane and it will split um, the extrusion between uh, both sides in both sides in both directions yeah and for the dimensions we want it to be a perfect cube two inch by two inch by two inch so we enter two here and it will extrude one inch this way and one inch that way because we chose the mid plane but then the total would be 2 inch and then our sketch here is ready 2 inch by 2 inch okay now we click OK now we have this cube we can also turn off the visibility for the planes so we can visualize the model better now there you have a cube and you can spin it around any way you like now let's say we want to make a hole on this cube what we want to do is choose which plane you want to sketch on let's say we want to make a hole right in the middle of this cube here and which will go all the way through from this side to all the way to the other side of the cube so we click the face that we want to um, sketch on right click and sketch now it'll create a new sketch uh, feature right here which you can click and then press normal to so the camera will be normal to that uh, face and we want to sketch a circle here that will uh, be our basis for that hole that we're going to make so you go in the sketch tools right here the circle tool and you can create a circle here like that it doesn't matter what the size is for now because we're going to dimension it okay once you have that circle we want it to be to one inch so you go to smart dimension click on the circle and you decide what the um, diameter is so we said one inch so we type in one inch and it'll automatically um, size it to one inch and this won't move anymore since when we started the circle it was already right in the middle 
and it automatically puts this relation right here this um, uh, coincident relation if you do that so if you look on the bottom it says fully defined so we're good to move on to this feature tab so we're not going to extrude this circle we're actually going to extrude cut it right here which will actually cut the material instead of adding material and same as before you can change directions but it doesn't make sense in this case to go to this direction because it's not really cutting any material so you go the other direction where it's actually cutting material if you go blind you can just choose whatever um, value you want here but we want it to go all the way through so we have to choose through all if you choose through all both it'll um, go through all on both sides so it'll go through all here and here but in this um, in this case we don't need through all both through all will work just fine you can also cut it up to a next point if you wanted to you can use this if you wanted to up to next and it'll up to uh, cut up to the next um, intersection which is right here but in this case for our design we want it to cut all the way through and that's good click OK and you will have a hole right there so yeah um, this is the very very basic uh, tutorial to get you started on SolidWorks or in 3D modeling but uh, in general you just need a 2D sketch and then you make that into 3D and you just keep adding on top of it you keep adding uh, extruded face uh, extruded uh, shapes or you keep cutting shapes out of it to make whatever shape you like there's a lot more tools up here which I will go um, I'll do it in a different video, but I will show you guys um, all the features on SolidWorks um, for sketching and also for um, extruding and cutting. Um, so that's it for this video, and just stay tuned for the next video that I'm going to do. Um, I hope you learned something here, and if you have any questions, just comment down below, and I'll make sure to uh, do my best to answer all of you. Sometimes. I'm pretty busy, so I'm sorry if I can't answer all of you, but I'll do my best. Okay, guys, till next time. Um, happy designing, and wish you all the best. Bye.